Hey there YouTubers and collectors, Salvador Los Angeles here with my review of Gearbox Toys Limited Edition Wayne Gas Pump Replica. A Moco, Soconi, and Texaco. These are from 1997. The side of the box shows them drawn. Same on both sides. And the back says heavy die cast metal limited edition Wayne gas pump replica. This vintage gearbox collectible die cast metal gas pump is reminiscent of the Wayne gravity pump seen at service stations during the 1930s. The actual pump stood over 8 feet high, with a globe measuring approximately 1.5 feet in diameter. These have been in the box for 17 years. This is Salvador Los Angeles. Thank you for watching my personal video review of Gearbox Toys and Collectibles Wayne Gas Pump Replicas. Oscar Wilde here is standing in front of various die-cast cars which I have a large collection of. I love these die-cast cars, so I thought I'd share that with you guys while I'm showing you the Gearbox Toys and Collectibles Wayne Gas Pumps, 1930s gas pumps. And back there, we have the inner sleeves that are inside of the boxes of the gas pumps. I wish they were different. It would be nice if we had a different setting in each box. That would be nice. Instead, we have the same, and it's very nice, but it would be nice if they had a different setting there. This is all out of scale. The cars are not in scale with the figure, the figures are not in scale with the gas pump, uh, but that's the way that it is for today. I first discovered these gas pumps on an episode of American Pickers, where one of the hosts discovered one of these gas pumps in, you know, a yard or on a farm or something, and I never knew about these. I, I, I'm, I wasn't actually an automotive historian, nor do I consider myself one now, but when I saw these on American Pickers, I thought, wow, those are so cool. And then I stumbled upon the gas pumps on eBay. I don't even know how that happened, but or maybe I was looking up history, American automotive history or something like that. But anyway, I came across these things and I absolutely fell in love with them. So much so that I also have a, one of these smaller ones. I'm not sure of the scale. I don't know the scale of, the, of these things. I know action figure scales. Are, I'm learning automotive scales. So uh, obviously these two gas pumps would be in different scales. Check out the Pennzoil one. Now this is the only one that is plastic, or should I say obviously plastic here, and obviously plastic here and on the handle. Because if you compare it to this other one, this Cadillac one, there is a metal and metal. So we have metal and plastic. So for some reason the Pennzoil one is has more plastic. Odd choice, I don't know. Now, as a point of reference, also be careful because this entire thing is held together by a screw there on the bottom. It's one screw that attaches to a pole that runs all the way through here. So essentially, this is one, one bolt holding this entire thing together. And one of these that I just took out of the package was basically all apart because the screw was out. So I did actually manage to screw the screw. I screwed the screw. They're all the same except for the colors and the design and the emblem, but they're all essentially built the same way. So here we have Pennzoil, and it says on there, for use as a motor fuel only, contains lead. Tetraethyl, tetra, tetrahydrocaninobol, that's what it is. And oil-wise Pennzoil. And we see these come off like that. I believe the way it worked, for those of you from the 1930s, is I think you actually pumped the gas out of the ground through here, and then it filled up to the level you want to fill, and then I guess it just, I guess gravity just poured it into into uh, your car. I guess that's how it works. So anyway, we have Pennzoil, Chevrolet Corvette back there, Phillips 66. That one is cracked. I don't know if I bought this one loose, but that is cracked. Gulf Oil, and that good Gulf Gasoline. Again, this is not the highlight of this video, but this is a shell. I'm not sure what era this is. but And, and I think this is also made by Gearbox. Yeah, this is also made by Gearbox. Uh, believe me, I could get started collecting these ones too, but... We have Texaco. 
and then Soconi Motor Gasoline, as you saw in the box at the top of this video. One screw holding it all together. Union 76. And by the way, both sides are the same. Same emblems on both sides. Cadillac, standard of the world. Then we have here BP. And Ford Benzo. Amoco, as you saw in the box at the top. And John Deere. It says since 1837. John Deere quality products since 1837. This is really more of a show and tell rather than even a, a review. I really just wanted to share with you guys some of my non-action figure. What? See, speaking of action figures, I can never escape them. Wayne 1930s gas pump made by Gearbox Toys and Collectibles dated 1997. These have been in the box for a very long time. But I think that they're absolutely gorgeous. I really love them, and I gotta tell you, as far as action figures, my favorite collections within my collections are Hellraiser, NECA Hellraiser, NECA Gears of War, NECA Predators. But I gotta tell you, my non-action figure collectibles, my non-action figure, I love these uh, 1930s Wayne gas pumps. I love them so much. If there were a fire, I would grab these suckers. And maybe a few of my diecast cars as well. These cars are actually banks. So you see there, you put the money in there, and then on the bottom is a key, and then you can open up the door. And these are made by Ertl, by the way. So here's an Ertl. I'm going to put that in the light. An Ertl Petroleum Products truck, standard oil car, and might as well bring this out here. Uh, this truck here, also a bank. And this is uh, oh no, 1992. Anyway, the trucks are from the early 90s. So anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys because I'll probably be reviewing or sharing more of my diecast collection, and particularly my trucks uh, and cars. I, I, I really go for this, what I would call automotive uh, history, uh, these gas stations, the gas pumps, these old time cars. Although I have some newer diecast cars, I really have a fondness for, you might say pre 19 50 or for sure pre-1940 vehicles like old model t's and stuff like that i thank you for watching this video just thought i'd share my wayne gas pumps with you guys and oscar wilde says thanks for watching hello hello